Welcome to the Pirate Council's Ultimate Guide to the Black Powder Stashes, the first Bilge Rat mission in Sea of Thieves' new monthly update cycle. These voyages will see you purchase missions from Duke in any tavern to sail across the sea in search of normal or stronghold gunpowder barrels and mermaid gems, which can now be found in a variety of places, to hand in to the Merchant, Gold Hoarder, Order of Souls, and Mysterious Stranger. This is a permanent change with normal and stronghold gunpowder barrels now adding to your rep for each faction, with the stronghold gunpowder barrels adding to your Athena rep if you hand in to the Mysterious Stranger. Remember, these voyages are time limited, so do them while you can. First, let's look at the rewards. You'll receive 300 doubloons for completing the entirety of the Black Powder Stash's commendations. Completing the Master Black Powder Smuggler commendation will enable you to purchase the Mercenary Figurehead for 50 doubloons. The Legendary Eastward Black Powder Reaper commendation will enable you to purchase the Inevitable Reaper Flag for 25 doubloons while the Legendary Westward Black Powder Reaper Commendation will enable you to purchase the Inevitable Reaper Sales for 50 doubloons. The Mercenary Figurehead completes the Mercenary Hull, Sales, and Flag found in the previous time-limited event, so complete these sets now because you won't have another opportunity to do so. The Inevitable Reaper Flag and Sales are an incomplete set, however, they will pair well with the Wandering Reaper Hull and Reaper Figurehead for now. Completing these voyages will reward you with 5 titles. Handing in 20 gunpowder barrels, 20 mermaid gems, and 5 stronghold gunpowder barrels to the gold hoarders will give you the golden benefactor title. Giving the same amount to the merchant alliance will give you the merchant benefactor title, while giving that same amount to the order of souls will give you the mystic benefactor title. Completing the reaper's black powder run to the east will give you the legendary eastward black powder reaper title, while the reaper's black powder run to the west will give you the legendary westward black powder reaper title. These quests aren't without costs. The Black Powder Smuggler of the Shore of Plenty, the Wilds, the Ancient Isles, and the Devil's Roar will set you back 5 doubloons each, totaling 20. The Reaper's Black Powder Run to the East and West will set you back 10 doubloons each, totaling 60 doubloons. This will mean you profit 220 doubloons for completing the voyages 100%, which drops to a 90 doubloon profit if you also purchase the time-limited cosmetics. Let's move on to the voyages. The easiest of the voyages are the Black Powder Smuggler's runs from the Ancient Isles, Shores of Plenty, and the Wilds. Each costs 5 doubloons, and you only have to complete each of these missions once for their respective commendations. These are not Reaper Runs missions, so you don't have to fly the Reaper's flag to complete it. It is best to spawn in the region you wish to complete to save time traveling, though depending on the ship, wind, island generation, and whether you're gathering these items or speedrunning, you can complete these first three voyages back to back in as little as 25 minutes. These voyages are divided into two chapters. In the first chapter, you will visit three islands and dig up a mix of merchant crates and gunpowder barrels. In the second and final chapter, you will sail to a fourth island and dig up a stronghold gunpowder barrel. Deliver your rewards to the closest outpost. Athena's Black Powder Smuggler's Run of the Devil's Roar A pirate legend specific run, this voyage costs five doubloons and is a carbon copy of the previous smuggler's run, with the difference being that it is located in the Devil's Roar. You only have to complete this voyage once for the commendation. As before, it is not a Reaper's Run mission, so you don't have to fly the Reaper's flag to complete it. It is best to spawn close to the Devil's Roar to save time, so Ancient Spire Outpost and Galleon's Grave are your best bet. A relatively simple run if you dodge those pesky volcanoes and sleep-breaking earthquakes. You can complete this voyage in as little as 15 minutes if you are speedrunning and have some awesome RNG and win luck with you. As before, this voyage is divided into two chapters. The first will see you visit three islands to dig up merchant crates and explosive barrels. The second chapter will reveal a fourth island with multiple stronghold barrels awaiting detonation. Be careful of digging up these barrels near geysers, as they will cause the barrels to explode. The legendary Westward and Eastward Reaper runs cost 10 doubloons each and requires you to travel to four predetermined forts, which can be active, to dig up merchant chests and both variations of gunpowder barrel, all while flying the Reaper's flag. You'll need to complete this three times to get the accommodations for both. The most important thing to note for these two voyages is to activate your Reaper flag BEFORE voting on your Reaper Run voyage. Otherwise, you may not receive the commendation upon completion. For you speedrunners, the Stronghold Barrows will be found on your first and final forts in the Reaper Runs. For the Westward variation, it is best to spawn at Galleon's Grave or Daggertooth Outpost. Activate your Reaper's Mark followed by the voyage. You'll then travel to these four forts in the exact order as follows. Chapter 1, Sharkfin Camp. Chapter 2, Kraken Watch Tower. Chapter 3, Hidden Spring Keep. And the final chapter, Sailor's Knot. 
hand in supplies at Golden Sands or Plunder Outpost depending on wind. You can complete this in 15 to 20 minutes if you're speedrunning. For the eastward variation, it is best to spawn at Sanctuary Outpost. Activate your Reaper's Mark, followed by the Voyage. You'll then travel to these four forts in the exact order as follows. Chapter 1, Keelhall Fort. Chapter 2, Hidden Spring Keep. Chapter 3, Old Boot Fort. And the final chapter, Crow's Nest Fortress. Hand in supplies at Ancient Spire Outpost. You can complete this in 12 to 20 minutes if you're speedrunning. The remaining accommodations require you to hand in 20 gunpowder barrels, 20 mermaid gems, and 5 stronghold gunpowder barrels to each faction. You'll also need to hand in 5 stronghold gunpowder barrels to the mysterious stranger. It is best to do the missions to get a hold of stronghold gunpowder barrels. Outside of the missions, the best way to complete this is through active and inactive forts. Forts have on average 9 gunpowder barrels, which means that you only have to travel the 7 forts to get 60 plus gunpowder barrels. Active forts have additional gunpowder barrels in the vault, including one stronghold gunpowder barrel. Mermaid gems are now found across the world, though they are guaranteed loot drops within fort vaults, between 1 and 5, and occasional loot drops within megalodons, krakens, and shipwrecks. Be sure to keep a lookout on shores for washed up mermaid gems, or that eerie hum of an intact mermaid statue that you need to break. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button to get more videos like this one from us. We would love to hear what you think of our ultimate guide to the black powder stashes, so please leave us a comment below. For the Pirate Council, I'm Genova from Rogue Legends. Thank you so much for watching.